Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Total War Attila Western Roman Empire campaign. So at the end of last episode, uh, we were attacked by the... I can't remember for the life of me what these guys are called. Oh, the Gichulians. That's who. So we were attacked by them after setting up fortifications on, others, on either side of their settlement in preparation to uh, allow the Garamantians to conquer them. Because the Garamantians, of course, are our subjects, and so any gains that they make eventually get paid out to us. Uh, so, this legion, uh, this very, very heavily modified uh, legion of auxiliaries, under Gnaeus Vitulius, is uh, effectively besieged. He is fortified, or at least he was in the process of being fortified. So, um, we are fighting very much an uphill battle here. It looks like they are deploying... A lot more cavalry than we are but for the most part their infantry seems to consist only of spears so that should be the clinching point for us if we can get the spears on their horses and then have our legionary defectors tear through their spearmen um, I think that'll be the best way for us to win but we're gonna have to fight very defensively here uh, so with that let's go ahead and jump on in okay so I didn't put too much stock in my deployment because I don't know where the enemy's coming from so, oh, there we go. It looks like they're coming from the north and the west, so I'm going to take a second to shift my troops a bit here. Um, they don't appear to have much, if any, cavalry in that direction, so I think most of my cavalry is going to deploy over there, and we're going to try to overwhelm that army before it can cause any damage to us over here. And then, uh, unfortunately, all of my caltrops were deployed on this side. I had to sort of just gamble one direction, and so I... I went with this side, unfortunately I guessed wrong. So we're going to have to shift these units over, uh, but at least they will have stakes on this side. So I'm gonna move you guys to roughly there, and then I believe that was the, yeah, that was the legionaries with them. We'll shift them over to here. And I'm wondering if I should push you guys up a bit. The thing is, their cavalry can get around all over the place, so I can't just completely abandon this over here. Instead, what I think I'll do is these desert spears can stay there. This, you know what, you guys stay right where you are. You guys, whoops, I have one extra spear unit, so these ones are going to move over here. Uh, that's fine right there. And let's move the slingers in that general direction as well. I'll put one over here. And let's see, no, wrong side. Give me you guys, let's shift you to there. And you are going to move somewhere in that general area. Okay, so you're going to stay there, you're going to stay there, um, you are going to shift that way. You are going to shift back and I'll hold you in reserve until I need you in a particular area. Okay. I wish these guys had some sort of formation. They can steady, but they can't actually shield wall or anything, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, we're able to move past the stakes, right? Okay, good. It looks like we did knock down some of them, but that's fine. Enemy approaches. Ooh, they do have quite a bit of cavalry over there. They've got quite a bit of cavalry everywhere, to be honest. Um, I don't know where I want to set you up. Come over here or something, but we're probably just going to end up getting overrun by cavalry. That's the general, though. So if I could kill him before anything else, honestly, that would be worth a, a suicide run with my cavalry. But it looks like they're trying to intercept it. So what if you played the bait and you two went that way? And we'll try something similar here. I'll try to get them to commit to a single cavalry unit. And then the other one is going to make a play for the back line. With the hope being that we sacrifice one unit to get three, one on each side to get three back there on their enemy general. Uh, no, 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 pause. Damn it, I've been playing too much RimWorld. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button there. Um, you know what? Go for them then. They seem to want to ignore you, so if you push straight through, you should be fine. Over here, they engaged, so you guys keep doing your thing. Let's see where they end up. 
Perfect. Uh, so you guys commit over here now. You made it through, so dive in on those cavalry there. For some reason, that didn't select. Oh, they got past. That's a real shame. Uh, in that case, go after the archers. Disengage from those spears and go after the archers. Oh well. I didn't think we would have much success there, but it was worth a try. But everybody just try to get the general if you can. That unit's already gone. That one's gone. That one's on the verge. Yeah, that didn't work out very well. It looks like our towers have held off that unit. That's nice. These guys are going going to attack virtually alone. Yeah, that's a real shame. Only we could have gotten their general. Oh well, there goes all that cavalry. It was all mercenary cav anyway, so it can be retrained relatively easily. Uh, start letting these guys have it with the javelins, if you don't mind. Are you throwing your... Why aren't you throwing your ammo? What the hell? Go ahead and pile in. Let's get you on... No, don't do that. Just set up there. Make sure they don't push through. You guys should be able to hold just fine. That is wide open. And that will be a problem. But nothing we can do about it right now. I can't shift any of these forces. Um, if I have to, I'll put these guys over there. But I don't... I don't know that I will. Let's see. You should be fighting cavalry. Let's steady you. There's really no reason not to. And you should be fighting the swordsmen. Let's see. Yeah, they're not making a play for this area. There is still stakes there, so... If they try to run through with cavalry, some of them will get killed. It'll give me a little bit of time. Otherwise... Let's see. Yeah, go ahead and attack. You may as well join in, especially since that spear unit is doing some damage to ours. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to hold them. There's just a lot of them, and these spear units are not very good, or at least not nearly as good as I would have thought. I'm going to need to shift you over. It doesn't look like they're going to try to flank us or anything fancy like that, so... But yeah, I'm going to abandon this side. Let's get you on that side over there. Let's commit you over here. I'm going to move you to this area. And we'll see if we can make this work. It's going to be rough. I'm trying to put spears on horses wherever I can and swords on swords. You guys aren't using your ammo very quickly, are you? That's rapid advance. We don't want to rapid advance. We just want to sling quicker. Let's see. Yeah, pile on in there. Go after the uh, spear unit. You guys, you know, do your thing. Um, ooh, they committed the general. If we can get enough units on him over there, that would definitely work to our favor. Hold on. I need all of the slingers in this area. Uh, not you guys. I want you targeting him. Let's get you targeting him. Um... Yeah, you keep doing that. That's fine. I want you on that unit specifically. And we'll see how that goes. Seem to be holding over here, if only just. I wonder, do you have any abilities that would help us here? Second wind. Uh, that might be helpful. Just make sure the archers don't kill you. You can start slinging into that group. Oh, wow. They almost pushed through. But yeah, a second wind over here would probably be helpful. These guys have been fighting for a while now. Let's try to give them a little buff. What the hell happened here? You guys did not get there in time. Uh, that's the problem. I need you over here. Ooh, okay. Uh, it looks like these guys will hold. They didn't get, you know, a whole lot sent their way. This is going to be a real issue. That giant, like, the giant zerg mass coming our way of melee troops. Probably going to overrun us. I don't really have anything I can shift over there to help defeat it. Uh, their general's almost dead, though, so if we can get him, we might end this fight. 
In fact, um, you're not going to be able to help over there anyway, so come this way. I'm sorry to keep running you around like this, but I don't have a whole lot of options. What the hell are you doing? Oh, you're pursuing. Uh, that's ill-advised. Why don't you just start targeting this unit? The enemy general was already killed, so I'm not too concerned about the rest of that group. You guys held out. That is fantastic. Um, let's get you over there. And the spears can come join in over here. Did you... Yeah, you already used your ability. I'm going to put you in Testudo just so you don't get shot up. Because that could be a real issue for us. Yeah, everybody pile in. Keep slinging on that giant group there. With their general dead, I can't see them holding out for very long. We just need to, like, dogpile them with everything we've got. And eventually they should break. I I'm wondering if it would be better to commit you guys over here. Uh, we'll see. Um, can you move over this way for me? We'll get you around the proper side and hit them in the flanks or something. You know what? I think I need you over here. Uh, maybe not. Those are only spear units. I don't... I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. Go ahead and charge on in. Um, keep slinging. If you guys are out of ammo, then charge. Let's see. Yeah, I need you right in the middle of that. Uh, I, I'm wondering, I should have kept my cavalry in reserve. I should have just held it in the middle, because right now I could just destroy all their range units and you know, run down everything else with cavalry. So. Committing them so early was a mistake, but I was, you know, we were kind of desperate in this situation, so I was going to see if I could make an aggressive play to um, maybe swing things in our favor. You're out of ammo, just go dive in. Get stuck in. Um, I need you back in the fight. Yeah, everybody, everyone that I have is, uh, let's see, get out of that form up like here, we'll rapid advance you in the back of that mob. See if we can cause some like shock damage. I, I highly doubt it. Uh, get out of that stance and just charge in. Go on. Come on. Uh, looks like we broke that side over there, so let's commit more forces over here. I'm actually going to throw the general in on this as well. Let's see. Those guys are exhausted. Let's... Oh, we got them all. Cool. I need you, yes, you over here. Um, honestly, if you're melee, come come join this party. Not too late. I need you guys over here as well. Just ignore the archers, let them waste their ammo. And it's just, basically it comes down to whatever happens here. Honestly, I think I should keep the general back. That might have been a mistake. Because if he survives, we should eventually win through morale. So, we just need to keep him alive, basically. Let's, um, yeah, let's put you in a Testudo again. Why aren't you guys moving? I very specifically told you to get over here. Yeah, they're going to run out of ammo eventually, and they shouldn't last very long after that. Uh, but we aren't lasting too long either, and that might be a problem. Luckily, we still have all of our towers, and the towers do pretty good damage, actually. I don't know why you guys are making this so difficult. Go on, rapid advance into the crowd. Same with you guys, just pile on in. And we'll do it with you guys as well. Ooh, they're going to start firing into our backs. Let's get you turned around. If they target you, we could be in trouble. Oh, they're going for the the watchtowers. That's oh no, they're not. They stopped just short of it. That would have been smart of them because these are doing a lot of damage. It doesn't tell me how many kills they have, but uh, you can generally assume it's quite a few. Um, are you guys actually fighting? I feel like you're not fighting. Uh, their morale is not looking very good. Ours isn't looking very good either, but um, I think technically we're winning. 
So we'll see how this goes. Um, that unit's about to collapse. Please don't die, Mr. General. Come on, get back in the fight. Get back in. God, this is going to go right down to the wire. Battle's no longer in our favor. Um, it looks like it's in our favor. If anything, it definitely just shifted to us. Because these guys just all recovered. And I'm going to give them a little bit more energy. Oh, they're all breaking again. But these guys are falling apart too, just as quickly. Somehow the general is still alive. And they should... Yep, there we go. Oh man, that is one of the closest victories I think I've had in a while. Oh. Um, we don't have any cavalry, so I'm just going to end it right now. Alright. So, that was obviously not particularly well played by me. Um, sending the cavalry out early was a major tactical blunder. Had we held them back, I could have won that much more easily. Because they committed their cavalry very early. And they basically just threw them against my spearmen and uh, played to my advantage. And so once we had dealt with those guys, I could have unleashed my cavalry on their archers and their slingers. And flanked their uh, mobs of infantry once they engaged. And we probably would have won with far less losses had I done that. So um, I'll have to... Keep that in mind next time. I, I think last time we fought a similar battle, I did that, and it worked pretty well. I don't know why I didn't consider that here. But I guess it all worked out in the end. Um, we only technically lost two units, all these are, although these are going to take forever to replace. So I might just disband them and try to rehire them. But uh, we did destroy quite a few of their units across these three armies. And severely weakened them. So we should be able to just kind of steamroll right through them on the next turn. We are definitely going to take the replenishment here. Okay, so uh, it looks like the Huns are active with their agents as they always are. Um, that's two failures and a success. You were encouraging descent. That's not that big a deal. Um, another failure. And the enemy was killed in battle in that last fight. Wait. No, different fight. That is the other big battle that we fought in the last episode, I believe. Uh, then this is the more recent one. Term of office is ended. We'll need to reappoint that person and that one as well. Political obstruction, of course. Of course. Um, we're going to do political favors here and let him spend his own influence to make that happen. Luckily, he had enough left over. Looks like um, Flavius Marcus Felix gained a level 2 war cry he already had level 1 and then we unlocked a tradition as well let's go take care of that um let's see recruitment costs for foreign levy units we're not really running any so that's not going to help us not really running any mercenaries either we're not fighting eastern empire so that's not going to help um a little bit of integrity never hurt and then we're not in foreign territory that might be nice, just because we are hanging around a little bit of free public order. Could be useful. This, I think, is the most ideal one, but it's going to be a while before we get there. Hmm. Let's, um, let's go down this center tree, because I only need these trees in order to get this. That lowers recruitment cost, but not upkeep. Upkeep is far more of a concern for me than recruitment cost. Let's see, war declared, um, I believe that's the Quadians and the Burgundians. Again, the names still aren't working, no idea why. Oh, let's see, I think I was moving some buildings around over here. Yeah, in Londinium. Let's continue to uh, wipe this stuff out. And I don't remember what I wanted to put here. Maybe a capital? Yeah, this this will be our capital of Britannia, so we could throw that down right about there. And what else are we doing? Issuing edicts. I don't know why those are in two different sections, but okay. Food shortage. Why is there a food shortage? Oh, because... Um, I don't know why. 
What happened here? That was the site of a very large defensive battle, so yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, this is this is where they attacked us with that huge army. It's been a while since I've recorded, in case you couldn't guess. Let's see. So that's all taken care of. Uh, we'll leave the Legion there, because obviously we need to until this gets dealt with. Which it doesn't look like it's going to. Um, I don't know why the Almonds won't just go over there and take it. They're right next to it. They're already at war with them. And that's a free city for them to have if they go do it. Same with Tolif uh, Tolifertum. Um, although it looks like the Franks are trying. They just don't seem to be able to beat the Geats. I could commit some forces over there to help. I don't know if that's a good idea, though, because that leaves Colonia Agrippina wide open. What is the garrison here? Oh, you guys need food. We we'll need to do something about that. But what does your garrison look like? Uh, it's not the worst. It's far from the best. Let's see. I'm going to march you in there. And hopefully the Franks are smart enough to take advantage of this. Because I'm just going to sit right next to it. And... Uh, if they want to if they want to fight these guys, uh, we'll definitely help them, but I'm not going to take this for them. All right. Uh, let's see. What do we have going on in the east here? It looks like we have a level up for Lucius Ambustus. With him, uh, let's do that and a little bit of public order. Sure, why not? I think this is one of the few places where public order is still a bit iffy. Although it has recovered. Pretty substantially. Uh, this was a mess when we took it over. Um, what was I doing here? I guess we'll do that. I wouldn't mind being able to recruit spies down here. We, we need spies everywhere, so uh, if we can start recruiting them there, that'd be great. Let's actually jump into this and see if there's anybody. So you guys have bad public order, but it is recovering. You have bad public order and it's falling. But most of that is due to the, um, well, the food, because we need to repair this building. And then the instability from that battle, immigration. And then we don't have a governor here. So if we got a governor here, we could probably fix that. Oh, devastation is an issue as well. Honestly, the food, the food will resolve our issue as soon as that's taken care of. Um, but we want to deal with the other issues as well, just so we don't keep compounding things. Let's get an upgrade going here. We'll do cattle. And that's probably fine. Yeah, I don't know what I want to upgrade in a lot of these. Let's see. Uh, I've, I've been doing waterworks for the fifth slot in most of my cities, so we'll continue that theme here. You guys have food, but you could use more. Public order is starting to drop, but that's because I'm moving these buildings around. It should take care of itself fairly shortly. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade this. Let's see. Public order and plus eight sanitation to all regions in this province. Or six sanitation here, plus four to all, and then seven growth. I think the reservoir makes more sense. It's free public order. The maintenance cost is the same either way. And this gives 8 to all regions in this province. So that should be 8, 8, and 8. Um, for example, this gives 5 to all regions and then 5 here. So sanitation here is um, 12, 10, and then uh, 2 from this. So that would give me uh, effectively... Well, what's it currently here? Current is 10. So that would push it to 18. Or if I did the other one, it would give me 10 here and 7 growth. But honestly, I would rather have the public order. So I think I would trade 2 sanitation for 4 public order. Or for 2 public order. And we can still upgrade this as well. So it's not like we don't have any other access to sanitation. And in fact, just the two of them as they are now would probably be more than enough. And I guess we can upgrade the food buildings just a little bit. How are you guys doing? Um, there's no... No leftover sanitation there. Let's upgrade that then. 
And I should eventually upgrade this. I guess I can do that now. Let's see. Is there anything else in Africa that needs building up? You guys have some public or some sanitation issues, but I can't build there yet. We'll have to wait on that. Food could be better. Let's upgrade it here. And I should probably save some money for dealing with this army. They've actually recovered pretty quickly, though, all things considered. Um, let's see. More cav would be nice. That artillery is far too expensive. How many slots do I have left? One. I'm going to take the legionary defectors. All right, so this this uh, legion is actually not nearly as bad off as you know you might expect. I am going to take you out of your fortified stance and have you attack that one. They're going to retreat. We'll attack you. You're gonna gonna retreat. Um. Forgive me, but I cannot. That worries me a little bit. But I think it'll be fine. What's your garrison look like? Okay. In that case, you stay right there. Hopefully the Garamantians are smart enough to take advantage of this. Completely undefended. I need you to... Why can't I move you? Oh, great. This again. I either have to attack or... Let's try this. If I attack and then break the siege I think it'll free me I got stuck in their like zone of influence there we go so that'll be one of their armies down I was hoping to get all of them I didn't want them to retreat but obviously they knew they had no chance of winning so we'll have to you know take them out individually I'm gonna I'm not gonna force march you I'll just march you back this way you're gonna stay there so that is going pretty well, I would say. You guys could use more food. Let's upgrade that. Oh, we already upgraded this one, sorry. That's, I already clicked on that one. You're fine. We were trying to build another legion here, but that's not gonna work. Because they don't have any troops to recruit from. Although that other province had quite a few. Did we need any troops in this area? I think these are all maxed out at this point. Yeah, you're at 20 out of 20, so let's get you into Sirmium. Although, I kind of want to start shifting troops this way. I don't think we'll need to. I think the Alamans have this covered well enough. And then between the Franks and my Legion up here, we should have this. So I don't know that we... Yeah, I don't think we need to shift any units that way. I think we're pretty solid with our line here. Um, they can't get through anywhere other than right here. So they can cross there, or up here, but this legion is, I think, close enough to deal with it, and then you guys can shift there if you need to, if they come across. So our defenses look pretty solid. Let's go into faction politics and start moving some people around. It looks like there's a lot of offices open for once. We've been pretty log jammed for a while, and we finally have the ability to move some people around. Uh, I hate when it does that. Keeping an eye out for um, disloyal generals as well. It looks like everybody's fine for the most part. There's like some fives and sixes, but I haven't seen anything lower than that. There's a four. Um, that's a shame, but I can't do much about it right now. Unless, is there anybody with a lot of influence? You're sitting on 70. I'm going to use your influence to secure his loyalty. He's a governor, though. That's not the best use of it. A general would be better. A general can cause a lot more problems when they betray you. All right, so we'll do that. Um, I wish you guys had more influence. It looks like Bacchus's son is coming of age. You have no influence. You have only 40, and you have 31. So we'll have to wait a little bit on the others. There's really nobody else that needs a promotion. There's nobody ready for, like, Master of Horse. 
I didn't see anyone that was ready to get shifted that we didn't already move. And it looks like we finally have some new characters that we can appoint. I might go for another governor in that um, in that province that we looked at earlier. Let's see. I could demote you. Do I gain from that? Um, do I gain more from this? Plus two integrity, all forces. This would give me... It would lower his influence gain. Lower the recruitment cost of cavalry. Don't really care about that. Yeah, this, this actually benefits me having someone there. So until Titus Polo is ready to take it, we'll leave this guy in it. So let's see. I have... A, logist a logistics expert, a handler. I forget what the handlers do. Oh, agents, right. And then another handler. Um, you're 26, you're 21, you're 36. That's a better stat for general. So Gaius Scivola, you are going to be a new governor. And I believe it was this one. That is expensive, but we're going to do it. And then we'll see if he needs anything in his household. Oh, did not mean to do his family tree. Um, let's try that again. I just wanted to view your character sheet. Mm, no, you don't need either of those. No, no. Recruitment costs for ports. There's no ports here. Uh, that's a real shame. Yeah, none of those are going to help him. Anything with public order? If I recall, there was one. Latin Christianity, or just... We'll take this straight up five. Okay, and then let's jump into diplomacy real quick. Uh, the Abdanians probably, yeah, hate me a little bit more every day, but whatever. We're still trading with them. Uh, I need to move that legion. That is right. We have, or we had, I don't remember if it's still there. We had a legion up here. We were going to start marching it toward them to eventually conquer them. Uh, this is the Burgundians. They are just causing everybody problems, but we're not at war with them, so I don't care. The Franks are supposed to be taking the rest of Frisia, but they are not being very quick about it. And then the Alamans have actually given them a war target. I need to change that, actually, because the Germantians don't appear to be smart enough to go after this. So... They weren't going after that anyways. Um, we'll reissue it again later after Africa has been dealt with and see if they listen then. You guys need to go take that. Our relations are gaining. That's good. We're at war with them. Don't even know who they are. Don't really care. Things are going back up with the Eastern Roman Empire, although they are steadily collapsing, as you can see. Huns um, actually improving, oddly enough. Don't really care about them right now, though. Only care about them when they attack me. You guys are actually stronger than the Huns. That is very interesting. Hmm. Well, nothing I can do about that. So let's see. No. Is there anybody new that I can trade with? I highly doubt it. Yeah, no, nothing going on. No, apparently not. So let's go up to Scotland, and we're going to... Oh, right, they they came to me. That is right. So um, we're going to stand our ground. I can't afford to move. If they attack me with this stuff, they're going to get shredded, but it's still going to be an ugly battle. So we'll see what comes of that. And I think that's our turn. Ah, right, we need to issue an edict. Um, I'm going to do the food and public order. But what I've been doing in a lot of these um, provinces is actually shifting over to auxiliary support because that decreases immigration. And in some cases, it's actually giving us more public order than this would because immigration is a big issue in a lot of these places. Uh, you can see we're getting minus nine from immigration here. Uh, it doesn't get rid of it completely, but in some cases, it can give me like five, six, maybe even seven public order back, whereas this is going to give me a flat four. But for now, I'll do that. And then it wanted me to do something else. Oh, a bunch of level ups. Let's see, a governor. Um, I guess lowering corruption wouldn't hurt. We probably have a ton of it. 
And I may as well do that. It's free food and it gets me one closer to some of these higher tier ones. Or do I want to go this way? None of that is going to benefit me, but in order to get to the top one, we need to have all of them. Let's go this way first. Because uh, honestly, this isn't even that good for governor. The, the plus five growth is great, but all those other ones are better for generals. So not really super helpful. Let's see. Your governor as well. Extra wealth from cultural buildings would be nice. Or we could do the free public order and lower corruption. Let's do that. And then one more. Let's do that as well. And I think we're out of time. Let me check. Yeah, we are definitely out of time. So I'm going to end the episode here and we'll come back in the next episode with a fresh turn and hopefully be able to resolve this little, you know, thing we've got going on in Africa. I I'm giving the Garamantians free land here with gemstones. I want them to take it so I don't have to worry about managing it. Uh, and then we'll just, you know, trade and I'll make money from that. But if they refuse, then I might just have to conquer all of Africa. I don't want to, believe me. It's more more micromanaging I have to do. It looks like we might have a little bit of trouble in Scotland, so we'll see what comes of that. And um, hopefully the Franks are willing or able to take the initiative here and use my legion to defeat these guys and uh, kick them out of Frisia. I suppose we'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Total War Attila with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.